Hello, this is John Thompson, the superintendent of the New Haven Unified School District with another episode of our 40s question series. We're doing something a little different today. Today we are not featuring a staff member in our school district. We are featuring one of our students. And for those of you familiar with high schools, you probably know that the, the high school experience revolves in large part around student activities and programs. And behind all of those activities and programs, there is a leadership team and there are usually a, a core group of people. There are usually a core group of people that uh, coordinate these events. And today, I have, I'm doing a 40 questions episode with Kalani Calderon, who is uh, not only involved with student leadership, he is our current student school board member, and he is next year's ASB president. So with that, I'm gonna turn it around and let you meet and learn a little bit more about Kalani. Hi, thank you. Ronnie, well, how you doing today? I, I got to tell you, I have a problem with, with this. The only problem I have, I work with you a lot, but boy, that, oh, as a Giants <laughs> fan, it's a little tough. I'm uh, just hoping tonight's game goes in our favor. You guys got the win last night. Yeah, we'll take the, we'll take the win. I'm hoping for some more of that as well. I know I'll get wind yeah. at the game tonight. I'm actually heading out of here you know, soon, and I'll be out to my seats in SF, so. Uh, all right. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. All right. So uh, why don't we start with uh, why you want to become a student board member, of all things. You, you know, there's, your schedule's busy, and on top of everything else, what made you want to be a student board member? Honestly, it's just, to me, it's a fascinating thing. I get to learn a lot about how we as a district work, what it takes from kind of getting the students involved, the staff involved, our community members involved, and especially, I you know, at least to me, our families. It's a, we're one of the biggest districts. Um, of course, I only know our district, you know, being here all my life, but it's so many great things that you get to see. And I always wanted to just know, how can I do more? And I think being the student board member, it helps me kind of get that answer so I can help out in any way I can and just support our community members, our families, and especially my classmates. That's great. And so you mentioned you've been here your whole life. So uh, you, you started here in kindergarten? Yes. So, um, well, I'd say beforehand, the Cadango Center over um, across of Logan. My mom was a Logan student when she had me. And so I went there. I've only known, you know, Logan as a student as, or as a kid as well growing up. And then, what other yeah. schools did you go to? Uh, I went to Alvarado Elementary School, all of my uh, elementary, and then IVCMS. And then here I am now, a junior at Logan. All right. What was your favorite grade level so far? Oh, that's a hard one. Although, I would say, honestly, eighth grade. It's, it was, as long as I've been in New Haven, there's always been so many people, I want to go to Logan, I want to go to Logan. I wanted to go to Logan, but I also love the elementary school being right there, especially because all of my teachers and I even had family there. And then being at IVCMS, there was just a core group of uh, amazing people there that supported me with everything that I did from leadership to even... Uh, I did yearbook, and so that was one of my most memorable times. All right. Well, how about your uh, junior this year, senior next year? What about what are your plans after Logan? Um, well, I do plan to go um, to straight to college. I do want to go and study American Sign Language, but I also want to kind of find a deeper way of communication. I want to learn how we as students are able to communicate with adults and vice versa. Um, so I want to go and study that. But I'd also love to go and just study the idea of photography, activities, uh, event planning, just all these different things that I've done in my life all in one. All right. Well, that uh, sounds like you're going to have to – those are all fun things to do. You may have to narrow them down at some point yeah. a little bit, but that's all right. I'm so, a little bit all over the place, yeah, but that's yeah, a fun that's part. Okay. So where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, Hopefully, back here in New Haven. Um, that's something that I've wanted for several years now. Just being a student, seeing how great our staff is and how many opportunities we're able to provide as a district. I think I just want to be able to be one of those people. Um, I've always done great things when it comes to leadership due to the support of our staff and my other classmates. So I'd love to just come back and help, you know, the community that help me. All right. Yeah, well, that's uh, we have a lot of people that come back, and that's part of what makes New Haven great. Uh, I see you uh, working in our profession. Hey, maybe you'll have my job someday. That'd be, that'd be <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so how about what? It, how is it different being a student now than it was prior to the pandemic? Before the pandemic, I didn't know much. I, mean, I was uh, fresh out of you know eighth grade year coming into high school, and it was I went from a school of fifteen hundred to almost thirty five hundred here, and I'm sure it was larger. You know, several years ago but 
it was different because it was before the pandemic. I was kind of in my thoughts were everywhere. I was like, whoa, this is a huge school. Um, but I think now coming back and having all the support emotionally, mentally, and even physically when I was on campus, uh, you know, several times. How about your most memorable high school experience so far? The pandemic. Um, I think I speak for a lot of people. The pandemic was really ex it was a great experience, but it was also a bad one. I got to meet so many great people, even if it was through a screen. Um, but I'd say just being able to meet them through the screen and then coming back to campus this year, it's like, oh, I know you. I've seen you on Zoom. So <laughs> it's the exciting piece. You know, I get to just continue to see the great things going on. Um, and even during the pandemic, we were still able to function as a school. Um, and we had our athletics programs and everything. And I think, sure. again, being in leadership, I got to see the behind the scenes of it. So that was really helpful. So what's the best thing about being a student at Logan? Ooh, the best thing. There's so many things. I mean, Logan's a great place full of opportunities for all of our students. Uh, I know for me, I've been blessed with everyone here at Logan, but I'd say my favorite part, just I get to be here with my classmates, the staff that support me, and we have a bunch of great laughs and we're a school full of pride. I mean, we take such, you know, great dignity and pride in what we stand for as a campus, and I think that's the greatest part. All right. Well, you mentioned you're here a lot, so uh, why don't we, in the next steps, why don't you show me? where you spend a lot of time, maybe you walk over towards the leadership area, and while we're walking, I'll ask you the rapid-fire uh, questions that come with this. Yeah, of course. All right, good. I see you've got, this looks like an event you probably helped plan, the Powder Puff football over here. Yeah, so we actually, right now, this is our first week of Powder Puff practices. We have, right now, our boys are actually practicing cheer. Um, and then, <laughs> All right. In a couple of hours, our girls will be out here on the old gridiron playing some football and practicing with one of our CSTs, Coach Rob. And then I'm actually one of the student coordinators from the leadership part with our spirit commissioner, but I get the great opportunity of also being a football coach. All right. Things. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Soda or water? Soda, if it's with a, a great meal. Otherwise, I'm always here in my water bottle. All right. Window seat or aisle seat? Oh, always aisle. Chinese food or Mexican food? Mexican. Favorite? Depends from where. Oh, okay. Uh, favorite pizza top? Unpopular opinion, but pineapple. Favorite exercise? Favorite exercise, bike riding or swimming. What is your spirit animal? My spirit animal, I would personally say, is a lion. And I know that's something that a lot of people say, but I just feel from the lions, you can get so many scars on your body, but you always find your way to kind of bounce back and always be there to support one another. All right. How about a uh, favorite place to eat in Union City? Oh, that is a very, very hard one. But Baldi's, it's right here. Yeah. It's very, very, it's a legendary place. I love it. Got it. What are you watching or streaming right now? Right now, I am currently watching just Grey's Anatomy again and again. Yeah, that's one of my favorite shows. How about uh, video games or board games? Board games. I'm all about the communication with my family. Coloring or cr with crayons or finger painting? Finger painting just because it gets a kick out of my little sister and I love her smile. All right. Uh, what bothers you more than anything else? Chewing with your mouth open. That, I think, is one of the <laughs> most right. biggest pet peeves I have. Uh, secret talent, and I'm supposed to part aside from chewing with your mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> um, secret talent? Not really a secret, but a talent I have is photography. I've done it for many years, from yearbook to my own little small business. Well, see, I didn't know that, so that's good. Favorite band or type of music? My favorite band, ooh, type of music, easy. Reggae or Hispanic music? Okay. Superpower you'd want to have? Ooh, healing. Any type of healing I can do to help someone. Oh, that's a first. I haven't heard that one. That's a good one. Favorite movie? Ooh, The Sandlot. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Favorite smell? Favorite smell? Freshly cut strawberries. Snow or sand? I like the sand. Country you would want to visit? Nicaragua, and I've actually been fortunate enough I will be visiting in June. Nice. Favorite hobby? Bowling and fishing. Cruising or camping? Camping. Skydiving or scuba diving? Uh, ooh, scuba diving, being under the water. A celebrity you'd like to meet? Ooh. Derek Jeter. Love the baseball. Uh, three things you can't live without. My family. My my family. My camera. And just I honestly being here. I mean, I, it's 
such a natural thing. I'm in such a routine. All right. Um, you're stuck on an island, and you can only eat one food for the rest of your life. What is it? It is called a loco moco. It's a Hawaiian dish that has white rice with gravy, hamburger, and a fried egg. Ooh. Favorite article of clothing? Hawaiian shirts. If you could switch lives with someone for the day, who would it be? Not specific, but any MLB professional pitcher. That, that's just something that I've always wanted to do. Being an athlete myself, you know, when I grew up, I played baseball, so I'd love to just see what it's like to be at a stadium on a game day as a pitcher. As long as they're a Giants pitcher, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, a classified employee in our district you would like to thank? Antonieta Beriguet in our main office here at Logan. She, she is the rock of leadership, I'd say. She helps me, at least, with everything that I need, and I'm just so appreciative for her. All right. How about a teacher in the district you'd like to thank? Ann Parker, she's my ASL teacher. Um, I grew up learning sign language, and now being in her class, I've got to experience so much more about the culture and the community, and I couldn't be more thankful. All right, and actually, we're um, this is probably a good place to stop for. I, I've just realized that this is where you host a lot of your leadership events, and and yes, uh, we do actually. We have a lot of our events that come here. Um, in the beginning of the year, we do class kick it, and we do um, basically we drop down posters from the stairway, and it kind of talks about our class and school themes. Um, and we're actually, I'm sure there's probably paper out there somewhere. We're doing prom tickets right now. Our all prom right. season is amongst us, and we've been selling prom tickets all week. So out of these, this garage door and the one over there hiding by the uh, cancer mural, we have just a bunch of you know students that come up. We pop the garage open, and it's it's a fun environment to be in. All right. Well, we're getting to the end here. Is there anything you'd like to say to our students, families, and staff? Yeah, I'm always here as a student who's seen so many great things within our district and has been able to be so fortunate within our district. I just want all of our students to be able to succeed. I want all the families to feel the support. Um, there's so many opportunities here at Logan. It's a great place, so please come to Logan if you're an IVCMS or a CCMS student. And I think, honestly, just, I'm all, like I said, I'm always here. Great opportunities, and make sure that you reach out. We always have the resources to support our families. All right. Well, thanks, uh, Kalani. That's Kalani Calderon, our current student body, uh, student board member and next year's student body president. So uh, thank you, Kalani. That's a wrap. Thank you.